The first suspect is charged on an out-of-state fugitive warrant and also faces a drug charge locally. 40-year-old Anthony Wayne Hopkins of Southwest Fairview Drive in Lenore was arrested yesterday by Lenore police officers. He's charged on a felony fugitive warrant from Tennessee. The charges there unspecified. In addition, Hopkins is charged locally with felony possession with intent to distribute meth precursor. The suspect was placed in the Caldwell County Detention Center in Lenore under a $160,000 secured bond. A district court date was scheduled today on the fugitive charge. A superior court appearance is set for April 29th on the meth precursor count. 19-year-old Austin Ryan Setzer of Hurricane Hill Road in Granite Falls was arrested last Monday, February 25th, by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with felony larceny of a firearm. Setzer was detained in the Caldwell County Detention Center under $10,000 secured bond. His next district court date is scheduled for Wednesday. The next suspect was arrested on multiple drug charges. 35-year-old Stephen Brent Lester of LeClaire Street in Hudson was arrested last Tuesday by Hudson police officers. He's charged with felony possession of methamphetamine and misdemeanor possession of drug paraphernalia. Lester was released on $5,000 secured bond. A district court date was scheduled last Friday. No upcoming court dates were listed. 29-year-old Alvin Lawrence Hames Jr. of Maple Street in Granite Falls was arrested Sunday, February 24th by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with felony flee to elude arrest with a motor vehicle. Hames was brought to the Caldwell County Detention Center where bond was set at $5,000 secured. A district court date is scheduled for March 18th in Lenore. Reporting from Caldwell County, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY-TV News. Back to you.